this is Spidey1958, and welcome to a new Let's Play Dyson Spear Program. It's sort of like a cross between factorial and satisfactory. It just came out into early access very recently. And that, so I thought I'd do a few episodes of playing it to let people see the basics and see if they like the game. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Uh, basically, instead of one area on a planet, you basically have a small star cluster. And the ultimate goal of the game is to build a Dyson Spear around the sun to help power your civilization back in another location. Sounds like another universe almost, the way they talk in the starting. So, uh, Let's see, number of stars, we'll leave that at max. Let's turn up the resources just a smidge. Make it a little bit easier. These are your number of types of stars. Ooh, there's one black hole out there. So let's go ahead and start the game. And I may have to adjust Welcome. the Welcome. Audio. to the actual universe. You I may find it's will. different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland starting from scratch, I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Our initial planet is fairly Earth-like with lots of water, which is actually more a disadvantage than an advantage, but... But this is just the first planet you start now on. Now you are about to reach the designated planet. Starting copper and uh, iron right nearby. A little short on space, but... This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right-click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. Oh, by the way, it's wrong can't use the arrow keys, it's uh, the normal... Now try to recycle the space capsule. Right click on it to recycle. You can use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. So we got some iron ingots, some magnets, and some copper sheets, and some fuel. We're going to go ahead and stick the fuel in here for now to power our mecha. You can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay, let's go ahead and get 
some of this stuff out of the way. Your suit will burn pretty much anything that burns, so I can use wood, leaves, coal, fuel, power cells. Yet you have not unlocked the construction menu, which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. Okay, so open up our technology. We only have one choice. Electromagnetism, which will give us basically our first generation method equivalent of power poles and a mining machine. We need 10 magnetic coils, but we don't have any magnetic coils, but we have the stuff to make them. So let's go ahead and activate this. Doo -doo -doo. And go to our replicator. And queue up 10 of these. which we won't actually be able to make because we don't have enough magnets, do we? Oh yeah, we do. We'll only make five. And up here you can see as it starts making them. Ooh, we got some organic crystals from harvesting the plants. Okay, so that gives us our first basics. It will also give us one miner, one Tesla core, and one other. So let's go ahead. You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory, or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. Okay, miners are tr tricky. You can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grit snapping, try holding down the shift key. So that will give us six. That'll give us six. That's a reasonable amount. And yeah, I could hold down the shift key. case that I can rotate and get a little more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do that. Okay, so now we have that. You don't have to worry about wires in this game for the most part. Oops. You just have to be in the radius. And it does the equivalent of wires automatically, though they're in that Wind turbine. Well. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Okay, so next we want to choose our next step. I suggest logistics. then metallurgy. So we're going to need gears and that. So we're going to need iron and we're going to need copper. So we'll go ahead and pull this out. And we will go here and chop this. You don't have to hold the mouse down or anything. You just basically click on it, right click on it, and it will just keep doing it until you tell it not to. But while we're doing this, we can also start our replicator. We need 10 of those. Get enough to build 60. of those. We 
you notice it's automatically going to build the copper sheets for us and the metal and the iron sheets. So it will, you don't have to build all the components, you click on something and it will build all the components automatically for you. So later on, hopefully most of the stuff will be able to do other ways. And while we're staying here, let's go ahead and throw you. Receive the sorter and the conveyor belt, okay. which can achieve full automation now. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. I think that is enough copper for now. Get some more iron out of here. Whoops. And let's go ahead and just make a bunch of copper plates. Let's make a bunch of iron plates. tutorials if you want to read through them. At least for these beginning ones, I don't need those. The health section works fairly well in this game. Okay. So now, what we want to do is, we got a few belts and stuff. And this is like factorial. In that when putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level, and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad 0 to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Got one of these. Oh, we got three of these. So we will put one here. You built a smelter, which can smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically. While you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously, you need to use sorters and conveyor belts. The sorter is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. We'll build some more power because we don't have enough power to actually run that currently. And we also want to build, uh, we're going to need more iron for that, which we can do. Set this 
access to the basic iron plates. Oops. I always do that. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. stock the cargo. So we don't need a belt here like they said. We can basically go from here to here. I did do that the right way. Yep, I did. Oh, but I didn't do this the right way. Robots go out and build the stuff for you. So that's important to remember. More of you. Now we can put one of these here. Done building the first power transmission facility, Tesla Tower. It can carry power. out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. They will auto clear stuff, and you can see the robots will fly a long distance to set stuff up so you don't have to walk over there. And when it was flashing, means we weren't producing enough power. As long as you're producing at least 10% of the power you need, it will keep doing stuff. So, that's not too horrible. So, let's go ahead and put down some more belts here. distance to pull stuff out. I 
not be able to squeeze another power thing within range of that. I'd still leave my building up oh, the camp. Okay. Build it first. So let's go ahead and build one of those. And then while we're here, let's go ahead. We have one. Oh, we have one. Forty. Let's queue up a bunch of stone. Check here, this is producing a hundred and eighty a minute. And this is using sixty a minute. So we can put three more on here easily. Let's clear some more area in the way. So far I'm using 80 of my 210. So, and now we need to build one of you and one of you. And then we want to build another one of you. also produce this and now I'm going to switch this one to iron plates. more 
of those. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put these down. Now remember that we're on a spear, so the grid is not 100% square, you know, north or south, it's going to vary. our basic production going. So let's go back to here. So next I want this one. Basic assembly. And then after that we're going to want this one which unlocks our actual blue research. So we can start automating our research. Grab some plates out of here. Some you. Some of you. Okay, so we need ten of you. That makes 20. And for the next thing, we need 10 of you and 10 of you. Okay. You might as well queue those up. So we should have everything we need for the next one.
gear production. Actually, at this point, we will call it an episode. So, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leaving me a dislike is fine. But please leave a comment saying why you dislike the episode. As always, this is Spidey1958, and have fun gaming!